Hello, I've had a question in Unit 4, Lesson 5, and that's related, re related rates in Part 2. So we have a spotlight on the ground. It's shining at a vertical building. So here is my fantastic spotlight with light rays coming out of it. And here is my building, which is 20 meters away. So that distance is 20 meters. A man, two meters tall, is walking from the light. So he's walking that direction, right there. We know he is two meters tall. And he's walking towards the building at four meters per second. So uh, I'm going to call this my x-axis and this is my y. You can really call it whatever you want. So dx by dt is equal to... And for now, I'm going to be, I got to be mindful of what my, whether it be a positive or a negative. So at this point, I'm just going to call it uh, 4 meters per second right. And then I'll just keep in mind whether it's going to change signs for some reason. Um, find the rate of change of the length of the shadow on a building 5 meters from the light. So we're looking at when x equals 5 meters. All right. So here we go. What relationship are we doing here? Well, we know that the man's two meters tall and he's casting a shadow y meters tall. So what do we have here? Well, in my green, you can see that we have one small triangle, one big triangle. So we have similar triangles, similar triangles. So that means we are going to have x1 over y1 equals x2 over y2, or whatever variables you prefer. So x1, y1 are my original, uh, the original conditions here. And plugging in um, any information that's constant here, and that's what we got to figure out. So x1, if this is going to be my large triangle, all right, uh, we know that the man is starting the bottom of that triangle is 20 meters away. And y1, 2 meter tall, we don't know why, so that may, remains unknown. x2, that's from my small triangle, so that would be 2 meters. Man doesn't going to change height, but his, oh, sorry, I'm backwards there. Try that again. Uh, x is on the on the bottom here. That's what's changing, so that's a variable. And y2 is our new distance. So x over 2. And I've kind of misread, uh, miswrote where my x should be. It should be part of the small triangle there. That's where the x should be. All right. So this is the equation we're dealing with. So I'm going to simplify it. So let's make this 40 equals xy. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the derivative of this. So the derivative of 40 is 0. Derivative of x is 1. Oops, I'm going to do this, make it in order here. So 1 dx by dt times y. So I'm going to use product rule. Plus x, derivative of y is 1 dy by dt. So if we simplify that, 0 equals y dx by dt plus x dy by dt. So what do we know here? Well, they tell us um, when he's 5 meters from the light. So we know our x value. We know dx by dt. We know how fast he's walking. And we can find the original height, the y, at that point from our expression, oops, right here. So we can, this is the expression that's governing the situation. So that means that over here, therefore, 40 equals xy. 40 equals, if he is 5 meters away from the light, what will the resulting or corresponding height of the shadow be? So we see that the height of the shadow at that point is 8 meters. So we can use that information over here. So 0 equals 8, dx by dt was 4, 
plus five, and now we can find the rate of change of the shadow. So negative 32 equals five dy by dt, dy by dt is equal to negative 32 over five meters per second. So at that point in time, that is the change in rate of the shadow, how fast the shadow is shrinking because it's negative, which makes sense because as a person approaches the wall, that shadow will be decreasing in height. So that's why we have that negative value. All right, so therefore decreasing, decreasing at dot, dot, dot. All right, if you have any questions with that, let me know.